Here are eight scientific yet lesser known ways to reduce pain. The first one is smell something sweet, like uh, flowers or almonds. They use it as an example. But it only works for women. The first one did not work for men. So women's, women, (laughs) women, (laughs) smell something like flowers and almonds. uh, And sniffing vinegar made the pain worse, just as an aside. Second one, curse. Swear, yell, do whatever. Like literally get it out. But cursing, they said if you're someone who doesn't normally curse, uh, saying words you're not supposed to say triggers a hormonal response that lessens the pain. Uh, third one on the list is ginger. They suggest if you have like chronic pain and you know you're going to take it every day, 500 to 100 milligrams a day of ginger. They said it also works for acute pain, so you can like put it in some tea if you like stub your toe or whatever. Uh, fourth one is pick a pretty picture, like a you know Picasso, or just look at something that you like, whatever it is. Uh, fifth is cross your arms, or standing with one arm over the other. Um, or putting your limbs in unfamiliar positions. The next one is listening to music. Um, People who received a dental treatment are less likely to ask for anesthesia if they can watch music videos during the procedure. I don't know. (laughs) I guess just the distraction. Uh, Number seven is look at a picture or... If you have the per or you have the thing that you love, look at something you love. Like they said that uh, looking at pictures of just attractive people doesn't matter, doesn't have any effect. But if it's someone that you love, it reduces the pain. And the last one is touch yourself in a non-dirty way, like wherever the pain is. Like think if you get punched in the stomach, what are the first thing that happens? Your hands reach towards that spot, like you're immediately grabbing your stomach. Same thing, if you, if you burn yourself, your first reaction is to reach for it. They say, go with that. Actually touch it. If, you know, it's not like an open wound or something. You know, touch it, massage it. Just the feeling of your other hand on the wound reduces it by like 60%, they said, in like initial acute pain. So I thought that was interesting. I hadn't really heard most or any of these before. So I figured I'd put it out. It's a good list.